It's video day here on Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. KJ4YZI Ham Radio Concepts. Let's talk about another digital mode in my playlist for HF Radio. How about Thor? Have you ever heard of Thor? So you have PSK and RTTY and FT8, right? FT4, then Domino X have showed you, Contestia, Hellstriver, Olivia. What about Thor? Thor is very efficient. Thor's got its own aspects. Let's check out the Thor mode, and you can play with that while you're locked home on the quarantine or self-isolation. This is Ham Radio Concepts. Okay, so after we touched on Domino X, we'll touch on another mode that's very similar to Domino X called Thor. Now, Thor is a family of offset incremental multi-frequency shift keyed mode. So it's an MFSK mode with low symbol rate, very, very close to Domino X, uh, uses the same uh, 18 tone frequencies in a constant phase manner. And um, the mode has full time forward error correction. So Domino X doesn't need FEC, but you could turn it on. This mode has full time FEC, so it makes it extremely robust. Now, uh, again, default speed is 11 baud was designed also for NVIS conditions like 80 meters at night. And other speeds suit weak signal, low frequency, and high speed, high frequency use, okay? You can see here that there is uh, different modes, okay? And uh, again, some of these modes may or may not be in your software, but uh, I tried a couple of them here. And uh, like Thor 4 is roughly 4 baud rate, 4 symbol rate. That's 14 words a minute, you know, 100% duty cycle on all these digital modes. And, uh, you know, a, a higher baud rate, is more words per minute, but a wider bandwidth, okay? So um, now I see on this one ITU designation, I guess there's different uh, designations as to where to use the store. But uh, this is, you know, in the description, not too much here. I saw another site pretty much said the same thing. So I referenced this to get a little bit of talking points. Let's look at Thor uh, with John testing with me on HF on Digital Master 780. And again, because I had to set it up with him, thanks, John, because I can't find anybody on Thor. I call CQ and nobody answers, so I had John. But hopefully with all these videos, we all get together on a net soon, uh, digital net. We try these, and I'll have a net every other week or every other weekend with different modes, and we'll get to try them and spread the word and get more people off FT8 and onto Thor. Okay, let's look at Thor. Now, you can see I have Thor 4, 8, and 16. So, of course, Thor 16 would be faster. Uh, data of throughput than Thor 4, but um, so watch this. I'm at 5 watts right now, and John's at 5 watts, and we are scheduling this because I can find nobody on Thor to demonstrate in a video. So here we go. I'm going to call CQ. This is 5 watts. Now you'll get an idea of what it looks like down here, okay, of the transmitted little data bits there, and how slow it's typing up here. Now, uh, this would be better for noisier modes, lower frequencies, like 80 meters or, or uh, you know, 40 meters, whatever. And when it's noisy or you have less power, this would be a more efficient mode. You can see how slow or much slower it's going. And again, we're not, you know, it's not about a race. And a lot of people say, well, the difference is something like FT8, which again, yes, it's a valid mode, but something for FT8 versus this is this is interactive. Um, we're talking about you will have band conditions that will open up and allow you to use these modes. And the modes are all, you know, there to be used. Um, the difference is you're interacting with somebody. You're not just letting the computer do it for you. And it's something new to try. Uh, and if you want to get people, you know, uh, conversations and talking, this is a mode to do it. So we'll see if John's going to reply back. Uh, he should be on Thor 8 as well at 5 watts. Let's give him a call again. Maybe he stepped away from the radio. Now, if you're banned, what you can do is you can start lower, like Thor 4. Um, and then if it's working good, you can ask the other party, hey, let's move up to 8. You know, and then you're sacrificing a little bit of the efficiency for a faster speed if the propagation will allow. And there's John there. It's already printed, but the it's still encoding that and sending it. And where's John at here? John's at 5 watts. There it is. See? KJ4YZI. And this is what it sounds like when you're hearing that.
Okay, he's on 10 watts on the chameleon because he loves that chameleon impasse. He's on Easter Sunday in the backyard, self-distancing, um, you know, with his chameleon in an HOA. So good stuff. Okay, now I'm going to reply back to him. Now you can see here, I've already typed ahead. Okay, so that's a lot of times what I like doing is, is typing ahead. Uh, so it's buffering, as they call it. And um, that way, I'm not watching the screen as they're typing each letter. Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier to, to deal with when you have a, you know, string of sentence coming in without having to, you know, wait. Because, I mean, if you're stopped and you type a couple words in backspace, I mean, you'll see that, you know. And so I like buffering ahead. So I am at 5 watts. He's at 10 watts. All right, we're going to try Thor 16. Well, let's see the difference. Now here's going to be the difference uh, in speed. Should be, say, much faster on Thor 16 with the a little bit of a compromise in efficiency. And this is what Thor 16 would sound like compared to Thor 8. There you go. There's your Thor digital mode. Another one, uh, check out the previous videos and the other ones I've made in this playlist on all these other digital modes that we can utilize when we're self-distancing and got nothing better to do but to experiment on ham radio. Try some of these modes. Let's get some of them on the air and more active so we have more people to talk to instead of having to schedule with your friend down the road to experiment on this mode. Uh, when I did the Olivia and Contestia videos last year or two years ago, it really blew up. A lot of people were on there all of a sudden, and they loved it. So thanks for watching. Thanks, John, for your help. And 7-3, uh, KJ4YZI. You're welcome. Happy Easter.